out of YouTube. Uh, working on the trailers today, doing maintenance. And uh, we have Dextra 12Ks with electric over hydraulic disc brakes. And they're awesome. They stop way better. You don't have to deal with stupid magnets. And uh, maintenance is pretty easy. The brake pads last a good time if you were using the brakes properly. And uh, the only headache we have with them are the brake pins. And the problem we have with them is uh, they get seized into the caliper and the caliper bracket. So what we do is whenever we do our monthly maintenance of uh, checking hub oil and changing hub oil we pull the brake pins so we're going to show you how to do that right now you need a three quarter wrench on the back and what size hex is that uh, i think it's an eight yeah an eight millimeter just pop the nut off pull the pin out they will not be that easy if you don't do the maintenance we've had to cut them out We've had to take them to the shop for them to get cut out with a torch. So the, the bullet that comes in the brake kit, if you get the brake kit, that makes it a heck of a lot easier to go back together. Get the bullet. The uh, It aligns the, the caliper with the pad with the first side of the spring into the bracket and then the other half the spring other pad through the bracket again and back into the caliper which is something else so there's o-rings in there you're gonna want to check the o-rings they're okay. good we and we use permatex. the permatex there, there out of the glare brake part lubricant you don't you don't need a whole lot of this grease because the o-rings are going to cause it to just squeegee it pretty much more or less clean but you want to make sure there's enough in there so it's not going to get seized and then just like that without the bullet it's nowhere near that easy you have to use a pocket screwdriver and <laughs> a flashlight and a yeah. bunch of cuss words oh gosh <laughs> and then uh, put your nut back on the back Cinch her back down with an impact. We use not not super tight, but it just speeds up the process. Done. There you go. And this this should be able to move, even though it is tight. So this allows the caliper and the pads to be able to float when the brakes are not engaged. But uh. That's it. There's two per caliper, and there's two axles and two wheels. So you have it doesn't take too long, but it is worth it. So yeah, cheaper than buying a caliper. Oh yeah, cheaper than buying a <laughs> caliper and uh, hours at the shop getting worked on. So we're doing it in Cabela's parking lot. <laughs> yeah, we've done that too. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, there you go. Until next time, stay crazy. Thanks for watching.